Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program. My name is Tom, and this is episode number 74. In today's episode, we are going to be addressing shortcomings in the production of components and materials. In the last episode, I noticed that we were not automating some basic buildings and advanced buildings in our mall. So let's take a look at the bottlenecks we may be having, address those, and then eventually, guys, we need to get to a new planet to begin automating the basic components and advanced components for the carrier rockets. So with that said, let's get started with episode number 74. Okay, guys, um, before we address some of the bottlenecks, let's get the sorters into a ILS. I cannot believe I forgot the sorters. So to the viewer who told me that, thank you. You know who you are. All right, so I'm placing down six storage box and that is going to help me with the spacing of this ILS. Okay, excellent. And so I am going to open up the storage box fully and I'm going to call in the MK3 sorters. Okay, and for some reason we are not demanding those even though we have the, the setting to request. So we'll take a look at that. And I will say this is the sorter MK3 and set a limit to 100. Okay, and it looks like we need to demand. Great. All right, so a lot of you guys said set the limit to 100 in the ILS and then open up the boxes for the buildings. So I think that is a great idea. So I think I will start opening the boxes for everything. And then I'll address setting the limit for the ILS off screen because I think that's going to take a while to adjust every single one of those. Okay. I'm wondering, can I just actually copy and paste this over? Yes. Okay, let's do that, guys. Let's be a little bit more efficient with our actions. Okay, there we go. Uh, so that is done. So we need to look at why are we not automating sorters? So here are the MK3 sorters. It looks like we have all of the components we need. And yeah, here is the issue. The issue is we do not have distribute to other distributors clicked. Okay, and there go the bots to deliver the MK3 sorters. Problem solved. That was really easy. So look, why are we not getting any electromagnetic turbines? That's a good question. Why are we lacking iron ingots? Why are we lacking thrusters? Well, we're lacking thrusters because we don't have steel. Why don't we have steel? What about this? What's going on up here? No processors? No plasma exciters? We are automating plasma exciters, but at a very small scale. What's going on here? Oh no. Oh. Take a look at this, guys. Do you see this? That is one single iron ingot. <laughs> How did that get in there? Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Problem solved. We're automating uh, solar panels. Why are we not automating? Are these mini fusion power plants? Yes. Well, we're not automating super magnetic rings. Well, that makes sense. We found out that the turbines um, we're, we're not getting enough turbines. So that means that we're not producing super magnetic rings because the super magnetic rings need the turbines. Okay. What's going on here? Again, no steel. Why are we not getting any steel? Steel, no steel. Stone brick. All right, so yeah, we got a lot of issues. And look here, we got steel in here. We got plenty of it. Look at all the steel. So why isn't this getting the steel? It says three available routes. Well, my guess is priority. There are probably several LDs, logistic distributors, calling for steel, and this is probably on the low end of the priority. That's the only thing I can think of. Because we have plenty of steel here. Let's take a look in here. Oh, so we're not getting enough steel in here. And steel is made by iron ingots, so there's got to be something wrong with the iron ingots, right? Okay, so let's address these issues so that our factory can continue to produce our components that we need. All right, so I am going to go on the North Pole here. Look at our steel. All right, so a way we can solve steel is we're not getting enough steel, right? There's too much of a demand. So my first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the belt. So I am going to say MK3 on the iron ingots. And would you look at that? We are not getting enough iron ingots in here. Okay. We can also upgrade the out belts so that we can get the steel into the PLS faster and that is still not solving it it has improved a bit but it's still not solving the issue so we're having issues with uh, iron ingots we're having issues with copper ingots the reason why we're having issues with copper ingots is because we only have one array this is my new term I learned, array. This is one array of copper ingots, and that is not enough. But I do know that we're automating copper ingots on Merrick 2, which is our smelting planet. So do we have copper ingots in the ILS? Here's steel, but we can't get enough steel in here, or er, iron ingots. So why are we not getting enough iron ingots? Okay, so we're not calling in any copper ingots. So let's call in copper ingots from Merrick 2. Okay. Perfect. How about we call iron ingots in here as well? Okay. So now we have two sources of iron ingots to get here. So, but why are we not filling this up all the way? We, we have three ILS producing iron ingots on Merrick 2. So that leads me to believe that we're having issues on Merrick 2 when it comes to iron ingots. So I think we go take a look at Merrick 2, which is our smelting planet, and see what's going on. Okay, so here we are on Merrick 2, and it is really busy. 
They are trying to get all of the iron ingots, and we got plenty of it here. We got plenty of it here. But I, I'm noticing something. We have no warpers in here. We have no warpers. We should probably get warpers in here, right? The logistic vessels are going back and forth. I think we should put... I, I really think we should put warpers in here, but it seems like it's not the issue here because these are warping. These are warping. Oh, I'm an idiot. These don't need warpers. Okay, they don't need warpers. Warpers are used to go to different star systems. Ah, I'm such an idiot. Okay, so warpers are not the issue. It's that we don't have enough ILS on Merit 4. Okay, so that is figured out. So it's not a warper issue. It's not a production issue. It's just a demand issue. So I'm going to head back to Roman. No, not Roman, Roman. We're going to Merrick 4. And we're going to take a look at this. Okay. So let's take a look at the steel and see what it looks like now that we have two ILS demanding iron ingots. So we need to head on the other side of the planet. And here is the steel. Okay, so we got enough iron ingots into the system now. So that is looking really good. So let's take a look at the stats panel and see what the demand is for steel or iron ingots. All right, so we are, we do have a good production here. The consumption is lower, so that that is solved. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Oh no, that's iron ingots. We need steel. Okay, so we are not producing enough steel. We're just under the consumption. So what we need to do to fix this is expand this array. And since I upgraded the belts to an MK3, that's going to allow for more iron ingots. Supposedly, it should. Okay. Okay, we are looking pretty good, so I think we can continue to expand this array. Okay, let's keep going. We got all this room over here, so let's use up all this room. So I say we go from here. Okay. Good. And I'll place the iron ingots back in like that. Okay. So there, we expanded steel quite a bit. So let's take a look at the stats panel and see how we're doing. And take a look at that, guys. We are producing more steel than we are consuming. And if I set this to a minute, now that really tells us the production and consumption 
and we're looking really good now. So what I'm going to do here is I want to add more logistic distributors. And the reason why is because our mall is demanding a lot of steel for certain buildings. And we're limited on the, the we don't have enough logistic distributors. So that's why I'm doing this here. Okay. And so if I say a limit of two, copy, paste and paste, put a LD there and hit provide, add the drones or the bots. Now that's going to give, see, look at them all go. So all the bots are now coming out and taking the steel to our mall. And so if we now go take a look at buildings that require steel, you can see steel. We got steel. Excellent. Okay, so this is getting the steel now. And let's say we add two spots to this. Okay, let's do some research here really quickly. And since we're going to be traveling to the stars, I am going to be researching the Mecca. So let me cue this up real quick. And we should probably get this researched as well. Okay, looks good. Yes. Good. So this is going to speed up our bots, right? Because our bots are not traveling fast enough. Not only that, they're not grabbing enough. So to fix the shortcomings of the bots, we can upgrade the bots. And that's what I'm doing here with the logistic carry engines. We get plus 15% logistic bot speed, but we also are researching carrier capacity, which is going to give our bots plus two logistic carrying capacity. So again, this is a great way to address our shortcomings and soon it will be fixed. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, the queue is full. Okay, so we have a short in the iron ingots. We got steel in here now. Excellent. It's looking good. We have steel in here now, right? We, we're having an issue, but we're getting some now and we're automating it. So it looks like we're having issues with stone brick and iron ingots. So... Let's take a look here. Mm -hmm. So I think what we could do here I think So I'm going to place six storage boxes here. And so what if I did like a PLS like this? And I say I want iron ingots, stone brick, and we can get even more steel over here. And I set a limit to a thousand. Okay, what's another component or material we're missing? You know, not, it doesn't look too bad. Everything is speeding up here. Yeah, we're probably not automating strange matter. Okay. 
Have an issue with the stone brick. Okay, fair enough. So, what I will do then is place down a couple, couple splitters. Like this. Like that. And... Okay, that looks good. And so I'll place some storage boxes here and set a limit to two. Okay. Place our Tesla tower here. Okay. And we'll hit request and then I'll just copy this over. Okay. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to get the belts in here. So this will be iron ingots. This will be iron ingots. Okay, let's demand these real quick. Let's take a look at the steel again. Okay. All right, so iron ingots are all set. Let's set the filter to be iron ingots and add the bots. And I'll just copy that setting. Okay, so now there are more logistic distributors available to call from. And so this is going to be stone brick. And I'll say stone brick. And I'll add the bots. Excellent. Okay. I think we're good on the steel. I think I actually want... I think I just want these two materials in here. Okay, and they need to provide, actually. These need to provide, not request. There we go. Alright, so that is fixed. Excellent. Alright. Let's set this to a hundred. Good. And yeah, we are filling up on sorters. Yep. I mean, it makes sense guys. We're putting a, a huge demand on our production chain here. Um, we're demanding more, more stone everywhere. We're demanding more steel and um, iron ingots, so it's really testing everything I built built here. Mm-hmm. So he's getting plus two hundred. What if we? Okay, there's two spots open there. So it's also a matter of distance here. These bots have to fly all the way over to deliver this. I mean, yeah, look at all the bots are all out. So what we, what we can do is do this. We'll add more. Okay. And we'll just copy this over. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And then let's add the belts here and we'll say this is stone and this is stone okay so there's four more boxes <laughs> okay good are these bots all out yes so we'll just do two more over here all right and let's do the same thing. Copy, paste, and paste. Copy, paste, and paste. Add the belt through the splitter. Do it on this side as well. And there you have it. So let's see. What's the demand? Look, all of the drones are gone. <laughs> They're the bots. All the bots are gone. So yeah, this is 
a heavy, heavy demand. And, but this is a really cool way to bring the material materials closer to the mall so that the bots can grab them and, and dis disperse those components to the assembly machines. So I could have like several of these PLS kind of scattered over here and then feeding them all. Yep. We, we got glass there. Mm -hmm. We need to automate plasma exciters. So let's take a look. With all that hard work we did, did it solve anything? Yes. Look, we are now fully automating uh, the storage box MK2. That was a huge issue. We weren't getting enough steel but we, we upped the production of steel on this planet. And we add more logistic distributors to accept steel and then transport them here. We fix the stone and now we can get more stone over here. And so that is looking good. This is looking good. That is looking good. This is good. This is good. And, um, so yeah, we're, we're having issues with advanced components here. We're having issues with glass, so we can address the glass pretty easily here. Yep, we're having glass shortage, so what we'll do is... I will do this. I will copy. Control V and I will place this right here. So this is a hub for materials to provide for my mall. Okay. And I'm actually going to delete these LDs right away because they're going to be requesting Actually, I didn't really need to do that because the PLS is not down. So let's put a PLS in the inventory so it gets built. And so I will clear that and clear that. And let's request glass. I'll say uh, 400, please. Okay. So the glass is going to come over. And so let's start with two boxes of glass and see if that's going to be enough. All right, so I've set to provide to other distributors. I'm gonna paste that over. And so we have the glass, so let's set the filter so that the glass will come out. Okay. All right, so now we have two boxes of glass. And let's take a look. Okay, that's looking pretty good. That's looking good. That glass is looking good. What's going on over here? Glass. We're not getting enough glass. Okay, some just came in. All right, uh, iron ingots came in. Let's set a limit to two. Okay, and I'm gonna set a limit to two. So I'm just gonna copy that box and paste it to all the other boxes. So now it's set to two limits. And we'll do it to here. Boom, boom, and boom. And now they have two places. Okay, good. Ah, oh, yes. I love solving little issues like this. This is this is fun to me. Fixing bottlenecks, fixing um, materials that were lacking. It's just, in general, solving logistic issues. All right, we're, we're looking good here. We're good here. Up there is good. Why are we missing this? Oh, that's easy because the reason why we're not getting turbines is because we're probably not getting enough motors into the turbines or we do not have enough LDs for the turbines. 
to get over here. It's either one of those. And so that means we're not automating reinforced thrusters, which means we're not automating logistic vessels. <laughs> But overall, guys, we addressed a lot of issues here. Okay. So it looks like all we need to address is plasma exciters, motors, turbines, super magnetic rings, processors. Yeah. That That's pretty much it, guys. Mm-hmm. Yep, there's another processor. Oh, we're having issues with tit titanium alloy. Yep, more super magnetic rings. More alloy. Steel. Steel's an issue because it has to travel far. And let's take a look at the production of steel. Yeah, it's cutting it pretty close. What if we requested steel over here? We could request steel and set that up here. So let's do that. Can we get more steel in here? Probably not. There's too much of demand for steel. Let's see. Oh no. Okay, we got enough steel. So look, now we can bring the steel out. And steel out here. Okay. Let's set this to steel and provide. Steel and provide. Okay. And so once the steel comes in, it will populate the boxes. Here is the steel. And it goes, and there go the bots to provide steel to wherever they need to go. Excellent. Yep, they're bringing the steel in here. Perfect. And it's being eaten up immediately. So let's set more, and it looks like we need to expand this out to 1,200, or let's say 1,000. Okay, excellent. Okay, guys, uh, that is the episode. We're at minute 32. So, guys, I appreciate you guys stopping here uh, for episode number 74 and addressing logistic issues with our mall. We got a little bit more work to do with the mall, so we'll continue this work in episode number 75. We need to look at the motors, turbines, super magnetic rings. We need to look at plasma exciters, processors, um, micro crystalline chips. So we'll address those in episode 75 and we will solve the logistic issue with our mall. And then after that, guys, we can really move into automating um carrier rocker rockets for the dyson sphere so again i hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you in episode number 75 take care and um goodbye <laughs>